hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i'm going to show you how you can download and install mysql on your windows and so let's start the video first of all go to your browser and just type my sql this is and click enter and this will bring you to this page this is the www.mysql.com their official website click that and after that go to download this option and here scroll down and here on the bottom you can see my sql community G gpl downloads just click it and there are plenty of download option you can see but we are gonna download it for windows so click the mysql installer for the windows option here and here you can see the they have selected the latest version you can change it to the older version if you want to but we are going to download the latest version and also you can choose the operating system as we already um, downloading it for windows it's already a uh, keeping the microsoft windows option and here you can see two installer uh, but we are going to download this installer because it will compatible with the 32 bits and 64 bit as well so click it as you can see this is 3 354 mb after that you will uh, get to see this page you can log in with your oracle account if you want but uh, i'm gonna just download it so click uh, this one no thanks just start the my download and it will automatically start downloading and i already downloaded this file so i'm gonna click the folder that i already have the file on it and so to install it just double click it here and select run and as you can see preparing to install i'm going to close all of them just select yes and the installation process uh, has begun select yes again as you can see the installation wizard is on this is their first page yeah so in the in this uh setup page you can see there are a couple of options servers only clients only full or custom you can download only server version only client version or both server and client version to this full or if you want to customize your own stuff you can customize that but i'm going to select the full because i need both server and client and after that i will select the next option here and uh, here are a bunch of things that will install if i click this execute option i'm gonna make a, i'm gonna let this as a default just click the execute option here and the installation process is started so it will take a, a few minutes to install because you have to download and install at the same time you can see the server is already um, installing so keep on waiting okay now as you can see the status is complete i'm going to select the next one again and here you can see the server is ready to configure just select next give all of this as default you can also configure the uh, connectivity port but i'm gonna keep all of this uh, as a default setting then select next and use strong password use i'm gonna select this one use strong password just select next and now i have to give a password use a uh, uppercase letter and one is specialized symbol i'm sorry i'm gonna do that again confirm that password and select next keep it as it is select next select next again select next execute execute and it will execute all this configuration step As you can see, this is the configuration of MySQL servers was successful. And if I 
click the finish option here again and select next select next finish next again and right now i have to give the password i previously set and the password is correct i'm going to select next again and select execute it's a bit of a complicated system so you have to wait for all of this to finish install and download to take a few minutes or maybe 20 to 30 minutes to fully install it so you have to be patient now select finish select next again and select finish and as you can see the program is running and after that we have to as you can see the SQL is installed and this is saying welcome to my SQL workbench but now we have to set an environment path so to do that I'm gonna minimize all of this and go to this PC option and go to C drive and go to program files and go to MySQL and go to MySQL server here and go to bin and just copy this part to copy just simply click this bar and to select the address and copy this by pressing ctrl c and now go to search option here and type type it edit environment variable It is system environment variable, click it and select environment variable here and select this option path, select edit and here click new and just copy, paste the path that so we just copied and select ok and select ok and select ok and our installation is completed so to to be sure we're going to see if the installation is successfully completed or not go to cmd there's the command prompt select this and here type my s s sql space dash dash version and and just enter as you can see the version is 0 uh, 8.0 0 0.43 if this is showing that means the installation is completed if not that means you have made some mistake on on the installation so this is the video i hope this is a helpful video for you and i'll catch you guys in the next one